and welcome back to the channel get my glove on here here we go on this video I want to talk about an electric motorcycle that is coming soon it's a highly anticipated one it's the super 73 c1x highly anticipated it's coming soon actually they're saying now this spring is when they should start to get uh, delivered so uh, no I have not purchased one myself but uh, they do look pretty cool and uh, very highly anticipated I mean this <clears throat> I think this is the biggest uh, biggest uh, bike event coming up for uh, Super 73 when this thing uh, launches and uh, once they uh, start getting out there so the Super 73 C1X is a electric motorcycle and uh, so it's uh, supposed to reach top speed 75 miles per hour and approximately 100 city miles on a charge that's that's awesome and uh, but get ready to uh, pay the price for it so the expected price for that bike is uh, just under ten thousand dollars so it's not going to be a, a cheap one for sure So, um, this would be interesting to see when somebody uh, gets one. I hope they put some videos up. I'd like to check out this bike. Not that I have $10,000 to buy one, but I'd like to see how the bike performs, though. It'll be pretty cool to watch. Uh, so, that's, that'll be something to look forward to. Uh, The Super 73 C1X. Super 73's first shot at a electric motorcycle. As we try to uh, get a ride in today between the raindrops and uh, so far so good here so I'd like to hear from anybody out there who uh, may be looking at buying a Super 73 C1X. Is there anybody out there that already has a money down on one or are looking at buying one? Or is that price just too steep? Or are you just not interested in getting into the electric motorcycle? You're going to stick with the electric bicycle. Myself, I'll stick with the electric bicycle, but it is intriguing, I gotta say, but that's, that's a lot of money. Right now, 
on my bikes I try to keep it under $3,500 or so but I think it's almost inevitable that every time you want to get a new bike and you want to you know what's the sense of getting another bike if you don't want to uh, hopefully get one that's just a little bit better than the last one or it has something on it that the <clears throat> the other bike doesn't have so generally that's going to cost you more right so uh For myself, I mean, if I was purchasing another bike though, anytime soon, I would probably, I don't know what I would get to be honest, but I would like to get into the uh, 72 volt would be nice, but that's where you start getting up there in price because the higher the voltage of course the higher the price right now i'm in the 52 volt world but i'm thinking uh if you went something like a uh an onyx rcr now uh, you're looking at 72 volt there Lots of power, for sure. And when you get up to that 72 volt range, then you're going to get into costly because the, the batteries. Oh, wow, the batteries are expensive. I mean, the batteries are expensive for all bikes, but when you get into that, up into that 72 volt, that's pretty pricey. I just like, the 72 volt sounds good to me just for the power. But you pay for that power, for sure. So we'll see, I hope to see uh, someday though, this summer, <clears throat> once they get launched here and uh, start getting out to people, I like to see, uh, keep my eyes open to see if I see a uh, Super 73 C1X anywhere around. I guess if I had $10,000 though and I was going to lay it down on a bike I don't think I would pick that one uh, I could probably pick a bike for myself uh, probably in the five or six thousand dollar range and then just uh, hang on to my other, say I spent 6,000, hang on to the rest. I, I don't know what I would buy though, like I say. The Onyx RCR would be nice, but I don't know if you could get away with riding that on the street here. So I'd probably try to stick to the uh, legal uh, e-bike the city 2 though the onyx city 2 would be be right there my only concern with that bike is the battery 23 amp hour I gotta think that 60 volt bike 
is going to eat through that 23 amp hour battery pretty quickly and that would make me nervous I mean I don't know if you can get I guess you could maybe you could get another battery like a bigger battery but if you convert if you take the price of the if you take the price of the Onyx RCR with a 41 amp hour battery and then you take the price of the City 2 with the 23 amp hour battery, I think the difference in the price really is mostly in the battery difference. So you're actually in a way might be better to buy the RCR. Alright, well that's going to do it for another video here on the channel. <clears throat> if you like this video, go ahead and hit the like button. If you'd like to subscribe to the channel, hit that subscribe button. If you want to be notified as to when the next video comes up here on the channel, hit that notification bell and you'll be notified. If you'd like to make a comment on this video or any other video on the channel, just leave that in the comments below. And once again, thank you for joining me today on this video. And until next time. Take care.